Welcome back to BT and good morning to you. We're looking at a pretty great drive on our major highways and expressways. It is Friday, so things are moving pretty well uh, for the most part. We are starting to see some volume pick up, though, on the eastbound QEW heading out of Mississauga. So what we're looking at right now is a delay from approaching Mississauga Road over to about Dixie. And it looks like it's really just volume heading through that stretch. And this is a shot of pretty the Toronto skyline and uh, the Gardner, eastbound Gardner, that is starting to build over the Humber Bridge. And that, again, is all just due to volume. So that's what we're watching heading into downtown. It's really not bad. Eastbound Gardner is slow, but just literally just over the Humber Bridge. So that's what we're watching right now down on the ground. Now we're going to send it up to airborne traffic with Jordan. We're flying over. Well, first of all, good morning with your chopper traffic. I'm Jordan Kerr. Right now, we're flying over the Don Valley Parkway at the Bloor Viaduct. And you can see on the Don Valley Parkway itself on the right hand side, that's southbound. That's in good shape on the left hand side. The northbound DVP in good shape as well. Overall, a pretty quiet morning. It's going to be a quiet one because, well, it's the start of the long weekend. If you're traveling on the major routes, nothing to worry about. Lease or finance any new 2019 Infinity vehicle from as low as 0% until July 2nd. Visit infinity.ca and discover the luck should be lived in. The long weekend is here. Uh, today is going to be quite muggy, and I think you can squeeze in a patio lunch before the storms hit Toronto, and that's going to be after about uh, 4 p.m. or so. Now, current temperature is 20 degrees. We do have a humidex of 23. Feels like 24 in Windsor, but it is going to be southwestern Ontario where that humidex may creep up towards 40. There's a heat warning in place for Windsor and Chatham-Kent. Now, the temperature today getting up to 31. The humidex, with the humidity, it'll feel between 36 and 38, so one of the muggiest days so far of 2019. And it's still quite warm tomorrow morning between 20, uh, 19 and 20 degrees to start off Saturday. Watch for some fog on Saturday morning. The afternoon, another warm one with a humidex near 34. That's for Saturday. Uh, you're looking for the lower humidity that will be here on Sunday. So a fresher feel, a north breeze. We'll have a cold front coming through and that'll keep us at seasonal. And then Monday, we're keeping a close eye on this, of course, for fireworks here in Toronto. A couple of days ago, models were showing clear skies. Now we are putting in showers and even a risk of thunderstorms throughout the early part of the evening. So it's still four days out, hoping that forecast may shift the timing just a little bit. Next week, though, it is going to be hot. We've got 30 and 31 for Wednesday and Thursday. Back down to you, Mel. All right, thank you, Tash. And we continue to follow this morning a shooting that happened downtown at Young and Elm. Our Tammy Sutherland standing by live right now. A couple storefronts we see, Tam, with some bullet holes here, but still no suspects. No suspects just yet and no victims at this point either, Melanie. So we're here at Young and Elm and it was about 5.15 this morning that paid duty officers who were down at Young and Dundas for a crane hoisting heard at least 8 to 12 shots go off here in this area. And you can see the evidence of the shots that were found right after one of them being a bullet hole in the Basil Box restaurant there, just shattering that window. Another restaurant uh, just a couple doors up also uh, receiving a bullet hole there and there are tons of shell casings uh, evidence markers down on the road on Elm. Now again this was at 515 and police say that initially two people were detained. One person was taken into custody but they were arrested on an outstanding warrant that was not related to this shooting at all. Another person who was detained initially has now been released unconditionally so they're still looking for suspects in this shooting but the good news is so far they have not found a victim at this point. They are keeping the scene locked down, though, just in case a victim does come forward. We're still not sure exactly how long this closure will last, but right now, Young Street is shut down all the way from Dundas up to Girard for this investigation. Elm also closed from Young to Bay, so keep that in mind if you're heading down here as well. And police also looking for any more information. If there are any witnesses or anyone who can help, they're asking you to call police or Crime Stoppers. Mel, I'll send it back to you. Tammy, thank you so much for that. And the shooting in the city's east end of the city uh, has left a teenage boy dead. This happened around 11.30 last night on Danzig, which is near Morningside and Lawrence. The victim rushed to hospital with critical injuries where he died. The homicide squad now taken over this investigation. And police have been canvassing the neighborhood, collecting evidence at the scene. We're going to take you back to a live look at the scene right now where you can see police still have this whole area taped off. This is part of a housing complex, including a playground. So far, there has been no arrest. The name of the victim has not been released. But again, police are appealing for witnesses.